Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you guys a message for this Lion's Gate Portal 8-8 and it's also, you know, another 8 if you guys look at it, this is the year of 2024 so that adds up to another 8, so 8-8-8 and I just want to remind you guys to embrace your feelings. A lot of people are doing a lot of reflecting on how people are, have mistreated you in romantic relationships, past partnerships, and it's good to reflect so that you guys can heal and grow and evolve. But a lot of people are struggling with the mistreatment of how cold and cruel even family members, people you trusted, people you're turning to in times of desperation or in times of true need, and these people are pushing you away or looking down on you. I want you guys to embrace your feelings. If you need to cry, let it out. But it's also important to pray for these people and yourselves. Pray for their healing. Because not everybody is high vibrational. Even if, let's say, they work for a church. Or they work for a school. Or they work as a doctor or a lawyer. They're still human. They still have lessons to learn. Yes, they are wrong for turning you away and mistreating you. But everything you go through will make you stronger. As long as you keep moving you can overcome your pain turn it into power as you guys know i do life coaching as well this is one of my life coaching sessions um i've never um that i can remember i don't remember ever addressing anything for Lionsgate, but i felt the need to today to kind of kick it off that i'm going to start dropping messages like these as well this is a part of me being ordained by god to do my life coaching so i'm here to remind you guys stay close to god at all times Stay protected. Focus on your happiness, your abundance, your success. This is the season and time of goals. It's always a good time for goals. So burn your white sage candles. If you don't have it, you guys can get a bushel. You guys can get incense. But if you don't have it, that's okay. Open up your Bible or look it up online on your phones. Read Psalm 91. Read it in its entirety. And it doesn't matter which version you read. Just read it. And also, you can also read Psalm 121 and 23 and others. The whole book of Psalm is incredible. Of course, the Bible, any good scripture that's positive um, is awesome. But get up no matter what and keep moving. Keep praying and keep going. Okay? You can always improve your self-esteem. You can always work on the next goal. Always find a way to personally transform, to grow in your career, to change careers to be a better you, to love yourself more in this season, to be more creative, to take action on that next business idea, to always focus on how you want to be loved by loving yourself first and loving those close to you, loving the world, being a true healer, a true helper, a true volunteer, a true guide, always lift the vibration of the earth by being a good person. And I'm so grateful to all the chosen ones and light workers out there who go through tremendous, tremendous um, pain and hardships to overcome pain and to help other people evolve and heal. So continue to go towards your spirituality and your religious practices. Do your spiritual practices. Whatever makes you feel good that's positive and honoring God and self, continue to do it. All right, you can read Psalm 91 every day if you want. You can just say Psalm 91, but this is a good, good day to read it in its entirety. And um, anytime you feel like you need more protection or a way to feel closer to God or watch old Bible movies. I love Bible movies. I love, I just saw um, Solomon and Sheba. It's really good. Like 1959, I think, or something like that, but something like that. But anyways, um, it's always good to learn from everything you watch, everything that you do, you know, always look for the lesson and stay positive no matter what. But in life, it's always important no matter what to keep going. When people push you away and they turn you away and they turn you down and they put you down and they hurt you, these people are lost souls. They're hurting themselves and they're on a low vibration. So always go high and always rise above everything. Always go forward. Keep going. It's okay to cry. It's okay to purge. But get up. Clean something. Work on the next task, the next project. Go wash your clothes. Go clean up the floors. Go do something. Donate some old clothes you don't need. Give yourself a project to stay inspired, but stay close to God at all times. Keep going. Be your biggest cheerleader and surround yourself with people who say yes, people who encourage you, people who hug you, people who love you and let you know to never stop your journey. Keep going. 
do not give up get up and keep moving that is imperative for your growth so i hope this message is beneficial to whoever needs to hear it i, I see so many people dealing with so much so much pain and heartache but anybody can be a blessing to somebody else just a smile just of you're awesome your hair is beautiful you have awesome skin you're amazing you're a good soul you're a good person compliment others and be your biggest cheerleader and compliment yourself there is something that each and every one of you do well and if you have not found that yet keep trying keep going do not give up no matter what god is with you god loves you at all times and you have your entire spiritual teams and families with you so please remember you are loved you are valuable and no matter what you go through you're not alone we all go through things i go through tremendous hardships and things as well and i keep pushing we're all human we all bleed red we all cry tears we all go through pain and sorrows and suffering and grief but we also can all achieve happiness and peace and luck and love and protection and winning and being triumphant and successful so focus on your abundance when you focus on blessings i guarantee you blessings will come in stay close to god he is always the way and he's with you do not give up do not listen to naysayers do not pay attention to lost souls and people who are putting you down because they're hurting inside see them for who they are not just what they say but how they treat you especially when you're in a time of need just remember you have a good heart you guys would give to others and you have do not let that don't let people stop you from being a good person and a good soul just because they choose to be on a low vibration pray for their healing and you yourself keep growing keep going keep healing keep loving god jesus your angels your entire spiritual teams and families your loved ones in heaven and on earth even those who don't love you you can send love and light their way and pray for their healing because believe me we all need god we all need healing and we are all here to learn some people are willing to do it and some people are not make sure you do no matter what do not give up you are worth it you are worthy your life is very important and you are always special and valued and valuable surround yourself with your tribe and stay on a high vibration i am sending the world as much love as I can because we all need it. I'm sending you all peace, patience, abundance, blessings on blessings, lots of prosperity. I pray that we all love each other the way God loves us. Show God's love by helping others, praying for others, and being there for yourself too. Don't leave yourself out. You're only one person. Do the best you can, but keep going. God loves you. He will always make a way. Focus on the people who say yes and encourage you and lift you up and make you feel awesome because you are. That's your tribe. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching. Blessings.